West Side Story and The Last Duel have been making headlines recently for their lackluster box office numbers, and it got us to talking as to why that may be. And there's plenty of reasons why, but when we really started to think about it, the one reason that really stuck out was the astronomical movie ticket prices. I mean, you're looking at for a standard family of four, easy $100 trips to the movies. And gone are the days of like $20 movie date nights. And let's not forget, we are still in a pandemic. Hello. Nobody wants to be crammed up in a movie theater next to someone that they don't know who's just munching on $15 medium popcorn combo. Directors Steven Spielberg and Ridley Scott came forward blaming millennials for their box office numbers. They said millennials don't like musicals anymore, that millennials have been brought up on their phones and that's all they pay attention to, and that millennials aren't just going to movies anymore. I'm gonna need Ridley Scott to get his generations right first and foremost, okay? Millennials were not the ones that were raised up on their phones. You're thinking about Gen Zers, boo. And also, if I hadn't made it clear enough, I freaking love musicals. I'm just not longing to see another recreation of a movie that is set in the 1950s that shows Puerto Ricans getting treated bad by white people, no matter how many Latinos are actually in the film this time. This is kind of what happened to the music industry. Before streaming and YouTube, music was bought on CDs or cassettes, and music videos were watched on TV. Oh, MTV and VH1. My, how you have changed. A huge shift happened once technology advanced. Platforms like Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube were created and had music and music videos on demand. Countless albums for the low price of $10 a month, where one album still costs $20 today. It's an insane amount of value for half the price. Plus, add in the fact that you can now find new music, expand your tastes, give other types of music a chance, you can see where I'm going with this. Gone are the days that musicians actually make money off of the music that they make. They've realized that anybody with a phone is a potential fan and they've adapted to get revenue in other ways. And fans, for the most part, were fine with it. Yeah, but with that, I ain't paying $1,000 to see Adele in the nosebleed section. Sorry, I'm just not that big of a fan. Now we come to movies. See, in the past, you could only watch them at the cinemas. And now with the rise of streaming services, $15 a month roughly, and you get access to a huge selection of old and new TV shows and movies. It's a bargain. And people love a bargain. So even when you combine a couple of streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, it still works out cheaper than taking your family to the movies these days. Yep, so what I think these old white directors need to do is take the L, quit pointing fingers at millennials, realize the world around them, and adapt. Don't just rely on movie tickets anymore. Spielberg and Scott said that it's only IPs that draw in crowds at the movies. Movies with an already established franchise or name. And I can see the point, but it honestly comes down to the price, we think. When it costs $20 a ticket, plus $15 a person for snacks and a drink, all to take a risk on a movie that may or may not be good. And let's be real, The Last Duel was not a good movie. Plenty of big movies have come out and been successful by releasing on streaming services alone or in tandem to movie theater releases. Dune released both at the theater and HBO Max, and The Matrix did the same. Bird Box. Remember Bird Box? Vacation Friends, Red Notice. These are highly watched movies and just goes to show people are willing to take a chance as long as they're not paying through the nose. So to circle back around to Steven Spielberg and Ridley Scott, it's time to put y'all's egos aside and just get with the times. Look, just cause you made some cool movies in the past, doesn't mean that people are going to rush out to see your new one. There's so many different factors to play out here. Quit your nagging and continue to make art. People will go out and support it. You just got to make it accessible and affordable. So to wrap this rant up, do you think millennials are the ones to blame here? Or are you with us and just think movie ticket prices are just way too high? How do you even go to the movies and see them now? Let us know in the comments below. Like always, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Until next time. It is the friend.